Now here we are seeing dilution of the calluses of the left kidney and uh, as well as the pelvis of the kidney is dilated. All the calluses are dilated, the lower pole, the middle region and the upper pole calluses all are dilated along with the pelvis. This is the pelvic region, this is the pelvic region, these are the calluses, these are dilated, this is the left kidney, from here to here, pole to pole, or from upper pole to lower pole, and from anterior posterior diameter, this is the enlarged kidney, because it measures 11.8 uh, centimeters in length and 5.38 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter so this enlargement is because of the hydronephrosis this is the dilation of the lower pole calluses this is the dilation of the mid pole calluses so this is a case of minimal to minimal hydronephrosis with dilation of the Callus, callusial system, intact corticomedullary differentiation, and normal parenchymal echogenicity. The point to note is that the proximal ureter is not dilated. You see here. don't see any direction of the proximal ureter. So though there, there is hydronephrosis and uh, we do not see direction of the proximal ureter. So now you see it's very tiny. This is the proximal ureter. It ends so abruptly. So this is, this may be without, you know, uh, investigative procedures, IVP, etc. Uh, this may well be representative of pelvic ureter junction obstruction that we cannot rule out on ultrasound. Uh, though this patient gives history of pain severe pain and here you see that these are calluses, dilated calluses here the tube like structure is the proximal ureter and these tiny cystic areas are pyramids so this is how we evaluate certain pathologies and it's better to be on the lighter side rather than being aggressive on reporting. See Now this is the urinary bladder of the same patient and uh, the urinary bladder is clear of debris, calculi or any other pocalene. No. So this is it. This is the prostate. This area is the prostatic in the longitudinal view. So there is nothing in the prostatic urethra to give obstruction.